Hello and welcome to our video presentation on ProLiance Query Studio. In this video, we're going to show you how to build data queries directly inside of your ProLiance application to gain access and data insights into your project. Okay, so before we get started, let me just take a quick minute to talk to you about the ProLiance Query Studio application. So on the left hand side, you're going to see the ProLiance data model and the data model is organized in a similar way to how the ProLiance user interface presents its data. On the top, you're going to see a toolbar and the toolbar allows you to format and organize your data and you can apply groupings, filters, summarizations, you can even change the font if you want. In the middle, you see the query workspace. And this is where I will drag and drop my data elements to build up my query. And you'll see that the query building is all interactive. Okay, so here's a more detailed view of the ProLiance data model. So we've organized the data elements in a way that business users can understand. So Query Studio is primarily a business user application. We know how your users, your project managers, your cost control and your document control staff typically don't like waiting for IT staff to prepare reports. So Query Studio empowers them with direct access to the data, but in a format that's easy to understand. And here's a more detailed view of the ProLiance data model. So let's get into some demos. In the first demonstration, I'm going to keep things very simple and build an RFI query that groups by cost impact. I'll show the RFI number, the subject, and workflow status all in a simple table. So here I am in ProLiance Query Studio, and I'm just going to drill through my model. And my model here has all my applications in it, including the RFI application, which is the one I want to use. So I'm just drilling through down to RFIs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find in the main section a list of some of the data elements I want. So for example, I've got the number field. You can see I just drag and drop my number field over onto my query surface. And then I have my subject and then the current workflow state. And you can see by dragging and dropping my fields on, I can see the data returning right interactively to me. I don't have any question around how my query is being built. I don't need to build any fancy uh, data structures. I just drag the fields on and I can see the data coming back right away. Now let's go over and uh, this is returning data for all my projects. So I'm actually only interested in one project. So I'm going to just put my project field over there and click on filter. And sure enough, I'll just find my hospital campus, and now it's only returning data for the hospital campus. Now this particular query, I was looking to actually group by the cost impact. So there's my cost impact field, and I just drag that over in there. And then I can click on the cost impact field, click on my grouping button, and sure enough, it's grouped now by cost impact. There's my ones that have no cost impact, and my ones that do have a cost impact. So. Pretty simple query, but uh, you can see it's pretty easy to, uh, to build a query. I can change the title, for example, to RFI by cost impact and click OK. And there's my query. One thing to note is that uh, if I'm interested in saving my query, I can save this out to my ProLiance Analytics uh, folder structure. I can also run the report in PDF or Excel format and get my data um, into my hands or, uh, or share it with some of my users if I wanted to. Okay, for our next query, we're going to add some visual elements using a very similar data structure to the one we just built, i.e. the RFI schema. So if I, what I'm going to show you is how to create a pie chart that will show the RFIs by workflow state. So here I am in ProLiance Query Studio again, and I'm just going to go into my office management RFIs, and sure enough, go down to my main section general and now I'm looking for RFIs by workflow state so I'm going to click the current state field just drag that over <clears throat> and these are all the states that are in uh, in my various projects and just like before I'm going to create a specific project filter go ahead and put that on that, my filter just exactly like I did before only showing the hospital campus and in this case I'm going to delete the field so that I don't uh, have to worry about seeing it Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to count the number of documents that are in each state. So to do a count, um, you kind of have to know a little trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this document ID field. This is going to give me something to count. So this is showing me a complete list. What I want to do is I want to summarize it. 
And I want to summarize by counting the number of items. So there I am counting them, and then I don't want anything at the bottom, so I'm just going to count those. And then I can just rename this field to what it is. Now it's actually the count. And I can see that I've got 39 RFIs in that state, and I answer submitted, 28 and closed, and so forth. So now that I have my table, I can actually just add a chart very easily by clicking the chart and then selecting the type of chart I want. A pie makes the most sense because I'm counting things and I want a percentage. Maybe show the values. And sure enough there I can see the number of percentage of each uh, our document uh, RFI in each state. So I can see that I've got 40% uh, for example in the question submitted field. And I can give this a title just like before. And call this RFIs by state, and I am done. So financial reporting is a, a very heavily used area of ProLiance, and this next query I'm going to demonstrate how to create a, a simple contract report. So you can see I've got the contract number and then some contract amounts all in a, in a tabular format uh, with a basic filter applied. So let's go see how this works. So here I am, I'm going to go into my applications, and in this case it's over under contract management, under expense, and there's my contracts. And again, if I go into main, and then details, I can see some fields that I want. So I wanted to put the number field, for example, and, uh, and the title of my contract. And then, um, just like before, I'm going to filter, because I'm showing multiple projects, and this is a big feature to be able to report across multiple projects, but in this case, it's just a bit easier to, to visualize if I filter for one. So let me go ahead and filter this to just my hospital campus. And maybe now I'll just delete this again so it doesn't clutter up my report. Okay, so if I want to do some financial reporting, uh, Price makes this real easy. I just go into the financial summary section, and you'll see some calculated fields are already there for me, like the contract amount. So I just drag that over. And then total changes and uh, maybe I'm looking for the revised amount which is kind of like the, the two columns summarized and then total invoiced and then the balance to invoice and sure enough uh, there is my contract which uh, my contract report maybe a, a little quick sort here might help as well there I've sorted but I can see what the base contract amount was how many changes have been applied the revised amount total invoiced and the balance to invoice and uh, give this my title, which is my contract summary. And I'm done. Okay, last up, we have uh, another contract report, but in this case, um, it's gonna actually show how to hook into the budget and cost system in ProLiance with that BCM engine. So in this case, I'm showing a cost account uh, oriented report by contract. And then what I'm gonna finally do is actually pivot this thing so that I can see my list of cost accounts here down the left-hand side, and then all my contracts along the top as row, or as columns rather. And then I can see how each of my cost accounts is being applied in, uh, in various contracts. So let's jump back into Query Studio and we'll see how to get this one done. So what I'm looking for now is, uh, well first of all, let me put in my contract title, because that's how I'm gonna show my contracts. And now, what I want to filter by a particular project, I'm going to go in and do my project filter, a little trick that I've done. And sure enough, let me filter this. And you don't have to filter by project, but uh, it just makes it a bit easier here to show if I'm only showing one particular project. Let's delete that, but keep that filter applied. Okay, now to hook into the BCM engine, what I would need to do is I need to go over here under schedule of values, so that's not under main here. And then if I open that up a little further, I'll see my cost line items. The cost line items are where I'm gonna find in this uh, cost detail. So here's my cost account line items amount. So that's what I want there, is to show my amounts. So showing me multiple line items for each contract, which is what I want. And if I go into the cost account field, and then I pick the title of my cost account, I just slip that in there. And sure enough, there I get, here's my uh, cost account title, so I can rename this cost account, just like my WBS code or, or how I'm storing my money. And this is, of course, just maybe my amount column. Just clean this report up a little bit. 
And now to create a pivot table, I can just click on the column I want to pivot on and then click on right here, create a cross tab. And then now I want to swap my rows because here I've got my contracts down as rows and cost accounts as columns, but I actually want it the reverse. So I'm just going to swap those out. And sure enough, here's all my cost accounts and then how they apply to different contracts. Now the nice thing here is that I can actually use the same kind of filtering techniques. So let's say I want to just filter by particular contracts. So maybe I want the uh, hospital uh, general contract. Where's that one? There it is. And then maybe I want the parking garage um, equipment and furnishings. Just as an example, I can pick those two and apply that. And sure enough, now I'm only seeing those particular contracts. And the summarization works just like you'd expect. I can give this a little title if I want, and I can uh, call this my contract whoops, pivot summary. And that's all it is. That's all it takes. So that brings us to the end of our video for today. Uh, just to summarize, we'll saw that ProLine's Career Studio is really easy to use. Um, the nice thing is that uh, you get that instant feedback when you uh, create your query. You can build it visually and, uh, and really provide your business users with direct access to their data. Um, it's really easy to create some simple queries and uh, again, it's meant to be focused on the data elements, not the formatting. We did apply some simple formatting to ours, but uh, really it's meant to, to look at the data and, uh, and be able to share and, and access and gain insights into your, your project. So with that, uh, thank you and look forward to seeing you on a future ProLines video.